all these scopes that I just picked up that were headed for the dumpster. I think I'm going to start with this guy right here. I just powered it up and it works along with a curve tracer. The other two don't have power cords on them, so I don't know yet. But this guy is actually what? I think it's a 50 60 megahertz uh, scope. It's got different modules for it. And I powered it up and it had a display, so I think I'll start taking a look at that. I may actually wind up using that thing. There we go, it's plugged in and functioning. So, uh, very good. Uh, certainly needs some cleaning up. And there's no, uh, yeah, no uh, probes on it, but I think I've got extra probes. Okay, this thing seems to be working really well here. Got the two-channel um, horizontal module in it. And uh, it's working great. The only issue it has is occasionally that, that uh, display will kind of fade out. And what I've noticed is uh, some of the wires here going back to the uh, back of the CRT. If I just wiggle them a little bit, the display pops back in. So I think I may just have a bad connection back there somewhere. I think I'll pull this back off and uh, check the connection on the connector and check those wires going in, make sure they're good. But uh, I think it's going to be okay. I got it all cleaned up. Cleaned up the sides. So uh, once I get this uh, reliable so that the display doesn't fade, I think it'll be a good one to go up on the bench next to my leader. Okay, here's an example of what I'm seeing. There's the kind of dim uh, scope view. And if I move some wires back here, it turns bright. And I'm just back here. And the wires that go into the CRT. So I push on them, it goes dim. And I pull them out a little bit. There we go. It goes bright again. So, definitely a bad connection back there on the CRT. So, let me pull that back off and see if I can figure it out. Okay, you just pop off a couple of these little nuts here, and this little plate comes off the back. And here, the back of the uh, CRT. I think I'll put some deoxid on that uh, connector. I'll put this back on, see if that helps it out. Okay, well this uh, Tektronics model uh, 5440 oscilloscope seems to be working properly. The intensity isn't varying anymore, even if I jiggle it and hit it and stuff. So I think I've gotten the bad connections all straightened out. And again, I just uh, cleaned up the connections on the back of the CRT. And also from this little board here, which does the intensity controls, there's a little ribbon cable that goes over here. And I think that was making a bad connection also, in addition to these cables back here. So I treated that with the oxit and the uh, CRT connection with the oxit and I can't get it to fail now so I think we're good. So I think I'm going to make room up on the uh, <clears throat> uh, middle row of the workbench here for this scope. Put it right beside that leader and uh, start using it. So. Again, this was a uh, piece of equipment that was, if I didn't take it, it was going to go into the big blue dumpster um, right next to the barn that it came out of. So, glad to get it, and uh, hopefully I can get some of these other pieces of equipment to work also. Thanks for watching.